How to Control Fear and Anxiety takes us into part two of the series where we're going to look deeper into conquering anxiety and overcome your fears by the use of mindfulness meditation. I'm going to share a wonderful spiritual metaphysical principle with the Course in Miracles that leads us into seeing how successful people really think to get the life they want for a better life for you, for increased self-worth and tremendous self-confidence. You know, let's get going here and talk about how you can control fear and anxiety now by noticing your inner dialogue without judgment. Hello everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me in another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. And like I said, this is part two of a four-part series. And by the way, keep in mind as we go on here, as I talk briefly with you about how to control fear, that in the description area down below is an access link called The Power Within You. It leads you to a free video on how successful people grow and think and how they overcome their fears to get the life that they want. I urge you to check that out because it's quite powerful. So how to control, how to control fear and anxiety is in looking closely at your inner dialogue. You know, those those inner conversations you have with yourself about all your fears and your doubts. Stop and change the script just a little bit to positive talk rather than that wrong-minded negativity. Change the script to positive talk when you start hearing negative self-talk creeping up on you. Keep repeating the positive self-talk. Now I'm going to share a handful of bullet points for you to keep in mind on overcoming that fear. Number one, bring forth a new association. What I mean by that is when you feel fear and how to deal with fear is something you're up against, invoke an image of something or say somebody that you like or look up to. Keep duplicating this and soon your brain will associate your worry trigger and with something a lot more enjoyable. This is how successful people think and how most of the highly effective people on the planet operate. By the way, as you're listening to me as well, keep in mind that I've got a, a detailed blog article at my website that I urge you to absorb. It's quite lengthy, but it's very accessible, easy to read. The link to that article is also in the description area down below as well. And it's, on, it's about how to empower oneself with the power of manifestation tools that are available for you today. Okay, let's go into bullet point number two. See the worst that can happen. Ask yourself, what's the very worst that can happen in this situation I'm up against? When out to begin conquering anxiety, imagine the worst that can come around or creep up on you. What's the worst thing that can happen? And then use techniques such as visualization to visualize you breaking through the problem you're up against. Then what we want to do is what you can what you can see what you can put in place to guarantee that the worst case situation never takes place. Now here's that spiritual metaphysical principle from the Course in Miracles. Course in Miracles states, let then your dedication be to the eternal and learn how not to interfere with it and make it slave to time. Now I'm going to repeat that. And also keep in mind that in the description area down below here at YouTube, I've noted these words from A Course in Miracles there because many of you have had mentioned that you like to jot these down. So again, The Course in Miracles states, let then your dedication be to the eternal and learn how to not interfere with it and make it slave to time. Okay, another bullet point here. Look at the glass half full rather than half empty. We've all heard that one before, correct? Visualization is an extremely effective thing in your mind for a better life, increased self-worth, and the self-confidence you need to cut through any hassles that come up in the form of fear against you. Follow this strategy and you'll find that how you feel about a, about a situation or a scenario determines how you will respond or react. Think positively and you'll provide yourself a much better opportunity for success. It's why it is highly suggested to regularly practice mindfulness meditation techniques. There are many techniques available. They all work well. The, the thing is, is finding a mindfulness meditation technique that is right for you, meaning which is comfortable for you. Mindfulness meditation 
mindfulness meditation, excuse me, gets you to that alpha state, I always like to say. And it, it lets your, your eternal, the eternal aspect of you, the God essence of who you are, come through and break through the barriers of any fear that is holding you back in life. I hope this hit home with you. And if you love my thought-provoking videos, how about please subscribing to my YouTube channel? I would love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, I hope that you're thinking a lot about your own life and all the natural beauty that is within you and the inner bliss that's inside of you that is just waiting to be reflected to your material world. And when you learn to reflect that awesomeness within you, that inner bliss to the material world through techniques such as mindfulness meditation, your life just becomes wonderful. Until next time, God bless.